For the first time in U.S. history, the White House has declared a drug to be an emerging threat to the United States. The DEA says xylazine, which is an animal tranquilizer, it's being used in the synthetic opioid fentanyl, and the results are deadly. Tark Miner is joining us now. We're speaking with a local drug addiction and experts there. This is a real problem. You know, the drug xylazine has now been found in all 50 states. It's linked to an increasing number of overdose deaths, some of them right here in Jacksonville. The White House calls it an emerging threat to the country. The veterinary tranquilizer, xylazine, that's being mixed with the powerful opioid fentanyl. Drug experts say xylazine makes the high from fentanyl last longer, and it's being detected in more and more overdose deaths. In the year 2020, 800 drug deaths were associated with xylazine. By 2021, that number jumped to 3,000. The drug causes breathing and heart rates to slow down, sometimes to deadly levels. Yes, we've definitely seen some um, local overdoses and uh, our providers are just crazy to catch up with this. Susan Pittman, who's the director of Drug Free Duval, says her team started hearing about xylazine overdoses roughly eight months ago in North Florida, saying the tranquilizer is being mixed with fentanyl without the user knowing it. According to the DEA, 23% uh, of the powdered fentanyl supply contains xylazine and about 7% of the pills, the pressed pills, contain xylazine. So even a, a person who might be a casual user doesn't have any awareness. They might not even be aware that there's fentanyl. They think they're buying heroin or they think they're buying, you know, a, an Adderall or something on Snapchat. And in fact, they're actually getting a pill that has both fentanyl and now xylazine. Pittman says the drug, naloxone, which was recently approved for over-the-counter sale in the United States, doesn't have the same effect on a person overdosing from xylazine. She's hoping the White House declaring xylazine as a deadly and dangerous drug will help with awareness and save someone's life. When we finally get the, the spotlight shined by our highest elected officials and when the government begins to really take this stuff seriously, it changes the game. It changes the game with funding and all that stuff, but it also changes the game because look what you're doing today. Look what you're talking about with us. The director of the Drug Policy Office, Dr. Sanjay Gupta, says his office is requesting $11 million as part of its budget to develop a strategy to tackle the drug spread. One thing that's being discussed is trying to disrupt the drug supply and also looking into whether Congress can classify it as a controlled substance. Joy.